Hello, this is Haku, and today we are going to be reading an SCP called the Retroactive Reaper, also known as SCP-4518. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-4518. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. Offense has been erected for the purpose of preventing entry into SCP-4518. Civilians attempting to enter SCP-4518 are to be detained, amnesticized, and released. <clears throat> Description. SCP-4518 is an anomalous structure located at the end of the, the old Holloway Boardwalk in San Francisco, California. SCP-4518 consists of a narrow tenet or passageway, passageway containing 207 posters for missing children, primarily between the ages of 6 to 12, who disappeared from January 1st to, Je to December 31st, 1999. Oh, January 1st, 1975 to J December 31st, 1999. I did not read the year on the first one. My bad. The individuals who traverse SCP-4518 have reported inexplicable feelings of dread, somberness, or a sensation likened to falling off the ed ed edge of the world. That's called a liminal space in general, though. Anyway. SCP-4518-1 is a Class S S I spectral entity. Cl colloquially known as a ghost. Residing at the end of SCP-4518, resembling a young child of indeterminate age, sex, or ethnicity. SCP-4518 displays symptoms of advanced depersonalization, often providing vague, unusual, misfiring responses to attempts at interview. SCP-4518-1 is otherwise unremarkable. Addendum. Interview attempt. After reviewing this document and supplement area material starting an unreleased research project, Dr. Melissa Abit Espinoza, then serving as deputy director of the Department of Spectral Affairs, requested to speak with SCP-4518-1 due to Dr. Espinoza's position within the DOSA. This, this request was granted. The following encounter was recorded shortly thereafter and has a has been transcribed a verbatim. Begin log. Hello? SCP-4518-1 turns to Dr. Espinoza. You... <laughs> well, that was fast. I don't understand. I saw his face on one of the posters, read the file, well, I suppose you would know what that is. And anyway, it didn't take, a, at any rate, it didn't take long to put two and two together. Is, is he still in there? Yes, I see things clearly now. <clears throat> Silence. Silence. You were playing a game. He ran off into the woods. You searched for him all night. When you told your mother what happened, men with badges and blue uniforms came. You told them. No, that's not right. Silence. He never ran off, did he? What? It was you. SCP-4518-1 approaches Dr. Espinoza. It was always supposed to be you. Uh, I don't... I mean, I think... I think we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I never... I mean, I just... I want to... Liar. Dr. Espinoza is lost. 
file update as of uh, April 24th, 2022, SP4518 now contains 206 missing person posters. No individual by the name of Dr. Elizabeth S. Noza has ever been employed by the Foundation. Further investigation is ongoing. Oh, I see. So what's happening here is that the missing children are actually people who went in there and at and when they a, a, a go in there and talk to the a ghost, the ghost retroactively makes them into a missing child. So they, they, they don't have a timeline of ever, ever being able to get in there. Anyway, if you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Also, Happy Spooky Month! I forgot to say that yesterday, I'm sorry. Prepare for more spooks. Because I do love Halloween and spooky things. Well, I have no idea what I'm going to do tomorrow. So until then, goodbye!